Hey guys, got a question from Becky uh, about French links or the center link bit, which is um, like the French link, that style thing, uh, and the difference between a plate and a lozenge, so to speak, or whatever you want to call it. Um, first thing I want to make, first point I want to make and get across really, um, well, I feel strongly about it is the center, that center link, it's really important for me, if you're gonna go down the track of one of these style bits for your horses, get a plate that's really short. You see how long that plate is? For me, that puts the joins too close to the bars. And when the horse gets tired, or if you have to sort of have put a little bit of, you know, you have to you know, put a bit of pressure on it, you're just gonna create sore spots and irritation because that for me is not good. I actually try to get all this as smooth as possible so we just make it a really good experience for the horse and they can learn what we want to teach them rather than try to avoid the pain. Um, so if you do want to go a flat plate like that, I think they're actually called Dr. Bristol's, but I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, I think it's a French link Dr. Bristol has plates. But I used to use one when I was show jumping when I was a kid on a, on a horse, that's all we used on him. Um, my, my version of that is this one here. Um, see how it's smooth and it's a lot shorter? a lot shorter so it gets rid of the nutcracker effect in the middle but it doesn't get these edges joins close to the bars so that's what I'm after and talking about there uh, but to be honest I don't use the flat plate very much again there's just it's just another edge in there it's just another edge that I don't really like and don't really lean towards it doesn't really go with my, my philosophy so getting to the ones I do like this is a mouthpiece I love on certain horses. This is actually the mouthpiece I use on a snaffle for the breaking in. You can see that beautiful curve in it. That curve just fits in the mouth beautifully. There's no nutcracker effect. You can move the bit from left to right over the tongue and it just moves smoothly over the tongue when you're trying to help them out and teaching them to give to pressure left and right and start to understand the bit. So that mouthpiece on these, on the three ring or on the four ring, and these are called Dutch gags, but in polo we call them three rings or four ring gags. That mouthpiece works really well. It's touch, touch thin for playing for me, but some people like them like that. You do get a bit more respect from them, but I tend to go towards something a little bit thicker, like that, this one here. And you can see on all these bits, everything's smooth, everything's nice, everything, like if you run it over, you run it like, that's how it moves over the tongue when you're riding with two hands, and everything's smooth. So it's the same with this one, this is all smooth, it's also got the curve in it and it's all smooth through the hand. It's got a short one there, a short length there. And um, the key of this is a bit wider, a bit fatter here, so it's a bit more forgiving. So if you get caught, if you're playing and you get caught and your horse is a bit tired and you can't change and you have to pull it a little bit one way or the other, you know, even if it's for 20 seconds, these are these are more forgiving for me. And I get a lot of, and they've got a little bit more weight to them as well. So when you give, they drop out of the mouth instantly or away from the pressure point instant, instant, instantly. And so these are the go-to for me for playing, normally, for myself personally, but everyone's got different preferences. And then in the three ring or the four ring. The good thing about the four ring is you can put it on any of those rings and it works well. Hope that helps. Um, hope that helps, Becky. And um, yeah, hit me with any other questions. Happy to help anyone with any bidding questions. Happy to learn, so throw out any comments. Always, uh, and on any platform, I might, we're, we're all over most of them.